618 on today's TMJ4. For your health, next week is National Lead Poisoning Prevention Week. It's an issue a lot of folks probably don't even think about. Tamara Rubin and Miranda Engberg join us this morning to talk more about how you can make your home safe and protect your children and yourselves. Thanks so much for being with us today. No problem. All right, Tamara, let's start with you because you were telling us a remarkable story that your two young children suffered lead poisoning. Right. Um, my children were poisoned when we repainted the exterior of our historic home, mm -hmm. and we hired a contractor who didn't use lead safe work practices in renovation and they inhaled lead fumes and were instantly poisoned. Oh my goodness. And you know the other message that is and I know paint got a lot of coverage because it used to be lead based paints but uh, there's a lot of lead in toys in dishes and other everyday items. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes actually we only have a regulation from the Consumer Product Safety Commission that is targeted for children's items so if it's not designed for children specifically um, there's a lot more leeway that industry can use and actually we had a testing event yesterday at the Racine Public Library and found several children's items some older some newer uh, that contained lead-based hazards in them that were above the current levels. And so what can people do just in terms of looking around their home and what kinds of items should they be looking for to, pr to protect their family? Um, the biggest hazard here is not necessarily the toys, it's actually more the dishes. This dish actually poisoned a child here in Wisconsin. Um, the child was fed their um, breakfast out of this every day sure. and it leaches and when we tested it yesterday with the x-ray fluorescent spectrometer, it tested 52,000 parts per million lead. The hazard level for an item intended for a child is 90 parts per million lead and this was 52,000. And then the hazard level for lead in water is 15 parts per billion and when they did a leach test and figured out how much lead was leaching from this dish into the child's food it was 92 parts per million which was significantly higher than the hazard level. Oh, so do you recommend that families go get things like this tested or I mean what can they do? I mean the first step is to get your children tested. Um, if you have any concerns whether it's in your house or your dishes, get yourself tested, get your children tested. Um, because and that's with just a simple blood test, right? Simple they blood test. Um, it can either be a capillary test, which is just a screening test, mm -hmm. and then they can do a confirmatory venous test at the doctor's okay. office. And, and stay away from antiques if you can. Uh, buy newer dishes that are going to be lead safe. Don't drink out of crystal that might be as much as 30% lead. Especially don't drink well, alcohol. People love to go to rummage sales mm -hmm. and buy you know, cute little finds and things like that. Certainly a warning to them. Yeah, and the big thing is for little girls, don't buy them costume jewelry because jewelry, if it's not sold as intended for children, isn't regulated, and little girls are always putting on that. put it in, in their mouths. Mouth. I can account right. for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Some great see it all the time at my house. This, Thank you so much. This is over uh, 90 percent lead, this little guy. Some frightening numbers oh there. Ladies, well, Tamara so Rubin, thanks so much. Let's Safe America is your organization. You're with the City, city of Racine Health Department. Miranda, thanks very much for your time and your information today. Thank you. Well, more news straight ahead. First, though, we want to take a quick look at today's super cash winning numbers. 3, 19, 21, 20.